Okay. Hey, it's Andrew Z, and it's day seven at Tiger Ridge Exotic Rescue. Day seven without the animals. I've been here for about the last five days, and uh, you really saw a change today in the demeanor between Kenny and his and his daughter uh, from the day that I got here, and now being seven days in. It seems like some of the reality of the situation that they're in is starting to set in. Forty years. Yeah. I've done this forty years. Tigers, lions, bears, all the cats, all the big cats. Have, not one single one. You know the sheriff even invites to this. Nothing's ever got loose. Nobody's ever been bit. Never. Not even never, a call. Not even a call. Not even a call. And they're really starting to miss the animals. And not only Kenny and Karina, but also the one animal left, the wolf. It seems they're really starting to be missing his brothers and sisters as well. Yeah, like this morning, I wouldn't even. I just got out of bed and I was. I was up. And I heard the wolf howling, like, like I mean, it was like he was crying, and man, it almost made tears come to my eyes because you, you could, you know, you when you hear him every day, you, you know a difference in their in their sound. He's sad. I mean, you can see it. He's not. I mean, he howls. That lonely sound, like where'd all my friends go? Listen to him, like he's out there suffering, like he's he misses his friends. You know, that that hurt just by listening to them. You know, animals know, our dog knows. I mean, there's, this has never been like this in 40 years. And, I mean, it, you know, he's just, he's sad. I mean, he just, you know, he misses his buddies. Speaking to Kenny about the way the wolf woke him up this morning and just the, the anguish in the howl. You could see the anguish in Kenny as well. And it's ironic to see the two of them really on day seven, the reality of the situation setting in. The only media embedded inside the Tiger Ridge Exotic Rescue Complex. I'm Andrew Zee.